Okay, first video being shot here on my iPhone. Um, I'm Sam. I am one half of our little homestead duo here. Um, our homestead is called Revase Homestead. It's actually our two dogs' names put together. And if he would come over here, Ace, come here. This is one half right here. This is our boy Ace. He's the one that guards our land and our livestock. The other one is a dog I had well before I met my husband, Josh. Her name's Raven. She's going to be 12 years old and Ace is going to be five this year. Um, I started homesteading about six years ago, like real big homesteading. Before Josh and I met, I had chickens and I did a garden every so often and now you can hear Feline as I get closer. Um, when Josh and I got together, that's when I started expanding into other animals and we actually started to make a real big go of this because I wanted to be more self-sufficient and I didn't want to have to rely on grocery stores and anybody else. I wanted to be able to do it myself. Um, you'll see Josh in a later video. Right now I'm just going to do a meet and greet with the goats and we're going to start with the boys. So our boys are Apollo and Achilles. Neither one of them are registered. They're both Nigerian dwarf goats. They'll both be one next year. Um, Apollo in May, Achilles in April, I believe. And then we have the girls and our one weather is over with the girls because he's very bonded to Ruby. So we kept them together. So here are the boys. So as you can see, we keep them in a little dog kennel. It's going to get expanded in the spring. Um, we didn't have time to do it this past summer. And they have a 12 by 12 house. This handsome boy right here is Achilles. He's super fluffy for winter. Come here. Don't you want to say hi? This is Achilles. And then this super fluffy boy, who's not going to let me pet him. Oh, little pets. Okay. This is, come here. Come here. This is Apollo. He's got waddles that are hiding in all of his fluff. So these are our boys. Um, we actually already bred Lucy and Ethel to them. I don't know which because we kind of just stuck the girls in here and let them do their thing. Okay, and as you can see, our girls are kept behind electric fencing. There is a good gap between the girls and the boys, so no accidental breeding is happening here. And let's go say hi to the girls and our weather. Everybody's pretty much out except for Lucy, by the looks of it. And they're all going to come greet me at the gate. So we have to try to sneak in without any of them getting out. There's little Feline. She's in her sweater. It's a little cold here today. Back up, guys. Come on. Getting swarmed by goats. Swarmed by goats. Okay, let's see if I can get them one by one. So over there, that's Lucy. She will be two in June. She's currently pregnant. She's got a little bit of an udder forming. Um, hoping to see babies from her next month. This nice silver doe is Ethel. She will be two in July. We actually got her and Lucy from the same people. They're both Nigerian dwarfs. Hopefully Ethel is also pregnant. And if she is, she would be due about, let's see, November, December, January, February, about March. Hopefully, maybe a little bit earlier. She was in with the boys in about September to the end of October. So somewhere between February and March. And let's see, these sweethearts are the Nubian Trio. We have Miss Ruby and Twix. These guys are mini Nubians, I think. Um, the person we got them from really wasn't sure. But they're quite a bit smaller than Miss Ophelia, who is a full-blood Nubian, who actually comes from Thwaite lines. Um, and Ruby and Ophelia are the same age, which is what has me thinking mini Nubian of some generation. Um, Twix is our weather. And Ruby and Twix are absolute sweethearts because they were bottle babies and so wasn't Miss Ophelia. Yes, you guys are just loveys. 
and little Miss Feline is still over here standing at the gate. Come here, baby. Let's give you some scratches. Here's little Miss Feline. She is quite fluffy, um, but we've been putting this sweater on her just so she stays warm enough at night, and it is a little bit chillier here today, so we want to make sure she stays nice and warm. She's actually getting along great with the herd. We haven't seen really any bullying. Um, she's she's a little sweetie. She likes to be held. We hold her quite a bit. Um, she is a little bit of a nibbler, but she is doing great, guys. She's adjusted very well. She, I really have no complaints. She's not shivering right now. I might try to take the sweater off of her in a minute. And of course, as I say that, she starts shivering. Um, but I promise she's fluffy. She's got a nice warm house to stay in. The girls are actually getting an upgraded shed later in spring. They're going to get a 12 by 12 like the boys. Um, hi, girl. Hi, baby. I know. Yes, hi, Twix. Um, so we got some fun projects coming. These are our goats. Look at Lucy's beard, it's magnificent. <laughs> Come here, Lucy. Come here, Lucy. Ethel is our only goat that won't actually let you pet her. And Lucy's gonna run away and prove me wrong. But she's got a little udder forming, guys. I know you can't really see it. She's not gonna show you, she's gonna keep her legs closed. Fairly certain she's pregnant though. She's got a little bit of an udder going. So hopefully some babies in January from her. And here's little Miss Feline again. Hi, baby. We are so happy to have her. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth story as to the special, how special she is to me, I should say, um, let me know. I will definitely post another video of that if you guys are interested. But yeah, everybody's doing well. These are our goats. That's a little bit about me and our homestead life. And... If you stay tuned, um, we'll definitely share a ton more. The next video we plan on posting will be about the rabbits and a full-blown farm tour. So you'll get to see all of our other animals, the pigs, the geese, the chickens, the rabbits, obviously. Um, and that one's going to be mainly led by my husband, Josh. He's our rabbit expert. So if you'd like, give us a sub subscribe. Um, and let me know what other content you guys would love to see in these videos. Have a great day. It's definitely quite sunny here. Not sure if you can see that sun poking through the trees, but it's blinding me. That's for sure. Happy holidays and have a great day, guys. Bye.